Hi guys, and uh, welcome to Table Tuesdays. So, as you've noticed, I am home, but not for long. I'm literally leaving in 10 minutes. No, the ta packing behind, the tacking? Yes, I'm at the tacking, the packing behind me. And it's a nightmare because I have so much stuff and half of it's at school and half of it's here and I just don't know, it's just ah. I always forget things, you see, which is why today I want to talk about memory. Memory is something that I've always kind of been quite interested in, like how the brain works and stuff like that. For example, when I was 12, um, online you can get these like, watch like uh, university courses. So when I was 12, I watched the Psychology 101 thing, because I was just so interested in how it worked and stuff. The reason I'm so interested is I'm dyslexic. I mean, I forget, you tell me something and I will forget it like five minutes later. That's why I'm the best for gossip, because you can tell me it and then I'll be like, yeah, yeah, give you help and like advice and stuff. And then five minutes later, I'm like, wait, what? I forget stuff so easily, it's... So because I always forget things, I have an obsessive need to document. Like, for example, like my vlogs on here, do you, do you really think I make vlogs because I think you care? No, I make vlogs because that way I can like relive it as many times as I like, and I can remember it and all that kind of stuff. And I mean, it's a fly in my room, ew. And I mean, I have like six diaries. I probably shouldn't advertise, but I have diaries, but I have to write down every single thing. Uh, you can ask my roommate, she's always trying to go to sleep and I'm just there at like midnight, still scribbling away. It's the ah! And then I just always have a need to just like take photos into scrapbook. And not just not just photos with your phone, because let's be honest, also there's a moustache on my phone. <laughs> um, you will lose those photos sooner or later because what your phone crashes, your phone dies, something happens with your computer. I mean, I swear I'm like, recently I took a disposable camera to a party because I was like, yeah, I'm such a hipster. And just because those photos will last a lot longer. And also just, I mean, I went to Russia and on my Instagram I posted a picture of all these um, photos that I actually had developed. And I just, I love holding the physical photo and going, ah, just, ah, and like scrapbooking. I've even, because I'm, getting really into it now, I bought I bought a scrapbook online and then I am started to like, like, put stuff in it and about the trip and it's really kind of cool because I know my grand, if I look at like my grandmothers and like my mum saw these um, like that photo albums, I'm like wow this is so cool so I just have a need to document it and I mean it's gonna be really nice for me when I get to go look back at that and then you just have pictures on your phone and I actually have like a freaking album important to document things and I like with this trip I documented it in every single way I guess I could I mean I made my video about it I wrote about it I took pictures I scrapbooked I just I have this obsessive need to document because I know I'll forget it all because I'm such an idiot Ugh. and also the thing with your memories is the more you remember something the more it erodes the memory is in you think the memory your fondest memory that you always go back to is probably real it's wrong as in the memory that you keep thinking of isn't actually how it was, isn't it? Because the more you revisit something and the more you tell a story, it changes every time you do. So your memories aren't correct, which is quite a scary thought. So for me, I don't like to remember things. I just don't like revisiting memories because I want them to stay intact, which is why I write them down. Because then once I've written them down for a day, I don't need to remember it anymore. My, that diary remembers it for me. I can read it back as many times as I like and it will always be the same. But if you just remember something, it will change. And that's scary, the idea of losing your memories, eroding them, and they just like change. It's like, ah, I don't like that. That really freaks me out. Please, phone the house when I'm in the middle of recording a video. I just kind of want to quickly make this video because I just think it's important to remember stuff like this. It's also one of the reasons I do this. I've got ideas and then I'm like, yeah, I have to talk about this. It's just something I really want to talk about. So yes, I'm home for like another, what? Three minutes, yay, back to school. Huh, your back to school is easy, you just grab your bag. I have to grab a fucking suitcase. Nah. So yeah, I like scrubbing on the jazz. I will see you whenever because school, it's so much fun. I just really wanted to make this video because I think it's important and that people should document and that people don't do it enough and that people sort of seem satisfied with taking people's selfies on their phone. Which is all good, but it's not. I don't know, man, you'll forget it. I won't. <laughs> please say it's not just me who does this, the obsessive documenting, it's got to be other people, please, can that just be, also, the eyeliner today, I went, f I, went f I went for it because I know that for the next month I can't wear fun eyeliner, I have to be sophisticated because school. Also with this whole documenting thing, I kind of feel like that shows what I want to do as a career, I mean I think journalism is really where it's heading, 
around about now. Like, if I had to have like a magazine, because I mean, magazines literally are my life. I mean, there is a whole shelf of Vogue's over there. They have their own shelf, they're so precious. <laughs> I really think that like if I had my own magazine it would definitely be something like travel, culture and like clothes, like photos and I'd write about it and that would be like my perfect ideal magazine. Just because documenting it's so important! And photos! I like just come on physical photos. There's nothing better than getting a physical photo and like getting to write on the back what it was. Because they're a lot harder to get rid of than just deleting. Also, see if you're in a relationship and you have a physical photo. It's a lot more satisfying to destroy it as well. You can burn it and it can be metaphorical for how your relationship went up in flames. Ah! I love burning things. Okay, this video got really weird really quickly. I have to go, so bye! Mwah! Fred's square in the rain and that's my friend. Get out of the shot, Harry! Get out- No! No! Oh, fuck. You just ruined my channel. Hey. Uh, don't leak the camera. It's so gross. Have See, I wrote notes on my phone because I'm clever. Oh, that's not my password. Never mind. Whoops. That was my. That was my. Do 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 do. There it is. The fucking fly, like right. Fuck off. Piece of girl. I don't like that. That really freaks me out. Please, phone the house when I'm in the middle of recording a video. It's great music. How I miss being home. So. There are four people in this house. How does it take so long to answer the damn phone? <laughs>